when I'm back on top, back on top in June. I said that's life. That's life. And as funny as it may seem, some people get their kids. Morning start off with just chugging a bunch of water uh, before we head out and either grab coffee or make coffee. The reason you want to chug water uh, at the start of the day is because you want to be hydrated and not dehydrated because the coffee that we're going to be drinking uh, dehydrates you quite a bit. The coffee that I usually drink is a little bit stronger or there's just more quantity than usual. So I know I'm going to get dehydrated. So I grab another one of these bottles. I just fill it, fill it up again and then just chug it while I'm like, or just drink it throughout while I'm working or like when I'm doing like the morning tasks that I have to do. Today though, we went and grabbed a cappuccino from good old Tim's. The reason is we get Tim's is because it's just close. If I, w if I really wanted to get like good coffee, I would just do that later in the day, more so in the afternoon, like, I mean, more so in like lunch or after lunch if I wanted to go hang out or just on the weekends where I usually just chill out and like go out and actually enjoy it. But in the weekdays, we're trying to get dialed in. So I just wanted to get, grab a coffee, get my walk in, and then just think of like stuff to do or plan out like the day. For example, today I'm gonna be doing a lot of iPhone content with the Instagram. Um, some good news, last around six days ago, June 6th, we were at like 400 uh, followers. Now we're at like 800 plus going to 1,000 and then hopefully from 1,000, we make our way to 10,000. But that's a really big update. It's currently June and May was just a bit hectic, if I can like describe it. Um, June is, I'm feeling the momentum like really building. Uh, and again, again, I talk about it like a couple of vlogs ago or two vlogs ago, um, that this feels like 2021 where we built a good base from March until now and now we're picking up the volume and the momentum so uh, I can feel like this energy that we're gonna be doing some things for social media freelancing and just in general like with friends um, it's also good to be balancing those things um, I would say with May the reason why it was hectic was because there was just a lot going on around uh, our household and then just a lot going on with myself um, and also balancing all of this and now that I'm able to but the good thing about also having a hectic phase or just like a busy phase like that is just you learn how to adapt on that time on that timeline that when you are busy you're still able to get the work in and we still did that I'm still putting up consistent um, content even though it's not as the best that I could do, like there's always room to improve, but we're learning slowly uh, the stuff that I, I can balance and the stuff I can't. We're just filming a skit. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the way every day goes. Every time we've no control. If the sky is pink and white, if the ground is black and yellow, it's the same way you show me. This plate, this plate looks a bit sketchy, but ah, 
Usually what's gonna happen now, this is the snack I usually have before studying. Uh, studying in terms of just like learning skills, for example, like for video editing, uh, anything related to the business, the digital business, freelancing, and then just other stuff that helps me get educated. Because the hard part about being out of school, first bite with the apple, you guys get it first. The, fir the hardest part about being out of school is that you stop trying to learn. Good thing about me, thankfully, is that I still pursued like learning uh, throughout the years, like four years out of university. I still try to learn something new. Uh, so either like languages or like reading uh, books or watching content on YouTube, just anything. I, I truly enjoy just like learning shit. And that's, I think that comes from also growing up. Uh, my favorite channels were History, Discovery Channel, National Geographic, which you, you can get a sense of how it is. Like I am as a person, just how you see like the living room and all that, like all my National Geo stuff and yeah. So what we're having right now is apple with tahin, but I, uh, I uh, mixed up the, the dulce de leche. Yeah, not dulce, just dulce, not de leche. Dulce, just tahin dulce, and then the regular tahin. So there's like sweet and like extra sour for sodium. Mm. And then I have the seeds, the pumpkin seeds. Really good source of fat. Dates. Also a good source of fat, I believe, with honey, which looks like jizz, but, <laughs> fuck. But also a source of uh, good micronutrients and like uh, honey for the carb, raw honey for the carbs. It's a good blend. You should try it. If you have the pumpkin seeds, mm-hmm. The pumpkin seeds with the dates add that nuttiness and also, oh my god, pause. But mixed with the fruit, it's just like a really good healthy combo. It doesn't crash your uh, insulin too hard. What's gonna crash my insulin though would be the coffee I'm having after this. But yeah, so just gonna study after this um, today I might be I'm gonna watch a couple of videos about cameras in Korean mm. in terms of why I eat like this I try to do 70 percent 30 percent or 80 percent 20 percent like whole foods and then just leave room for whatever i want to eat but honestly for me what happens is because i am kind of lazy to eat a lot um i do maintain a leaner physique rather than when i was powerlifting and trying to push the calories but there's a time and place for everything i would say maybe at the end of the year i'll start pushing the calories more when um when work isn't as busy as it could be because what honestly the only reason why i'm not like bulking a lot and just cutting is because of the productivity uh, trade-off being at a lower calories even though my calories aren't that low um, i find that i am more productive because i don't uh, crash my carbs too much but that's also because i haven't dialed in my um my nutrition as dialed in as it could be. Plus, there's also the reality that it is expensive to be eating like really good food. If I actually dial in like the kind of foods that I would prefer eating for health purposes, then my bill would easily be a thousand a month, but I'm just gonna work harder. I always like showing the empty plate because uh, there was this like drama back in the day called Let's Eat Shikshara Hapshida. And then what, what the guy would do was that uh, he would like, 
for his blogs, his food blogs, he would show like the food is like there because then it, you know, it tasted good because people finished it. And I made it pretty decent today, so that's a good sign. Oh, this one's on the other side. Mm. Isn't this sick? be studying something about newsletter because that's what I'm interested in like growing a newsletter I'm already growing as of right now sign up but I want to figure out like certain um, insider tricks or whatever about growing a newsletter and just like sustaining it and then again camera content in Korean and that should be good for the first two and then whatever random I want to watch on the third. So this is usually my uh, either post-workout shake or pre-workout shake. Today is going to be my pre-workout shake. And then post-workout, after the run, I'll probably have a sandwich. Uh, I'm trying out this new kind of bread. It's called Puglis. This shake is, uh, contains the blueberries, banana, um, peanut butter, peanut butter powder, protein powder, um, chia seeds, milk, yogurt, and kefir. Um, really tasty. It's a bit sweet. It's a bit too sweet. That's why I added the creatine so that it kind of makes it a little bit not too sweet. Now, while I'm drinking this, usually I would be either on my phone, on Instagram, trying to um, save audio or videos that I enjoy and just want to learn from and the ones that I want to create content similar to. And then after doing the Instagram, uh, because I am doing the side quest where I'm growing an Instagram page from zero to 10,000. There's going to be a video on that. But after growing that, I'm going to be working on uh, this, like my newsletter, uh, just writing and stuff. Um, yeah, I'm working on week one where I talk about, because week one is content creation. Second week is about cinematography and photography. And the third one would be, week three would be uh, tech and gear and then fourth one would be just like the mental aspect of it so week one i am just writing about uh, momentum as a content creator in relation to the instagram account that i am running right now so that will be fun to talk about but again for newsletters it's going to take a long time um, I don't, i'm not even expecting anything from the newsletter i just really enjoy writing about it like writing content on a new, like on a newsletter format, because then it, you can use that to create content for um, for Instagram, YouTube, and all this. So I'll work on that while I'm drinking this, and then maybe take a nap, take a nap, and then go on a run. One thing as well is um, with the with the car shoot that I just did, the film just came back, and it, oh, it's so sick. I haven't been that excited for photos 
for a while, and I think that's one of the benefits of shooting um, a film is that you get to you don't get the photos immediately. So once you do see them, you're like super excited. So they go jogging every morning, and she make me breakfast almost every morning, and she take a nigga pic before she leave the door. I be waking up to pics before a nigga on it, and every weekend my shorty coming over. Shorty can fend the out, but she like fashion over. She ain't driving no Camry, she pulling in and My right foot hurts. <laughs> Surprisingly, after the long run last Saturday, but. We're just doing something very not too intense just actually making it super easy for ourselves just running trying to maintain form but yeah actually no I'm starting to feel better just a little bit of stress on it just gotta keep working on the, the exercises that i'm doing I'm just not pushing it until Thursday for our speed workout. But other than that, Workout sandwich, uh, Pugilese bread, uh, avocado, and ham. I don't even remember. Heat bun? The format? Joe Rogan was at our last event. Oh, okay. Showered, that wraps up the day of eating. Hope you guys have a chill one. And I wish time never matter.